Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix weapon clipping in Unreal Engine. So I have this character with this weapon, but if I go up to a wall, my weapon will clip through the wall. Although with the technique I'm going to show you, it will fix this. So if I apply the technique, and now if I go up to this wall, my weapon can't clip through it. The technique I'm going to show you is even used by modern game studios. And if you want to learn how to do even more cool things in Unreal Engine, I made a completely free Unreal Engine beginner course which will teach you all of the fundamentals that I think everyone should know. There will be a link to it in the description of this video if you are interested in that. With that said, let's get into the video. To get started, we're first going to create a render target where we're basically going to display the weapon that we want to show on our screen. To do this, if we just right click in any of your folders and just go over to texture and select render target. I'm just going to call this my clipping render target. Open it up and then go over to size X and size Y and just change the dimensions of this to 1920 and 1080 because we're going to display this across the whole of our screen. Once you've done that, you can just save this, close this, then the next thing we're going to do is create a material based on our clipping render target. So to do this, if we just right click, go over to material, I'll just call this my clipping underscore material, open it up, and for this material, go over to material domain and change this to user interface as we're going to display this on some user interface and change the blend mode to be translucent. Then we just want to press T on your keyboard and left click. This will give us the texture sample node. And for the texture, we just want to select the clipping render target we just made. Connect this into the final color and then to remove any errors which are black, we're going to drag off the alpha value which will allow us to control the opacity. And we just want to look for one minus and just connect this into opacity, then go apply. Close this. Then we're just going to create a widget where we can display our material. If you already have a widget, you can skip this part, but I'm just going to right click, go to user interface, select a widget blueprint, select user widget. I'll just go to my player HUD. I will open this up. In the palette, I'm going to look for a canvas panel. Drag this in, then I'm going to look for an image and drag this image into the canvas panel. Select this image and we want to go over to anchors and select this one in the bottom right corner. Then go to offset left, top, right, and bottom and make sure it's zero. This will stretch the image across the whole of the screen. Then we just want to select the image and go over to brush and change this to be our clipping material that we just made. We're now going to make it so only our weapon will basically appear in this clipping material. To do this, we can just compile this, close this, go over to your first person character, open them up, go to the viewport, and we just want to select your first person character, then go add, and look for a scene capture component 2D. For this scene capture component 2D, Move it in the exact position of where your camera is. So you can see the values of your camera by selecting the first person camera. And I can see it's minus 10 and 60 here. So I can just go to my scene capture component and make sure it has the exact same values. Once you've done that, just drag the scene capture component into the first person camera. So that's a child of the first person camera. That way, when we move the first person camera, it will also move the scene capture component 2D. Then with the scene capture component 2D selected, we just want to scroll down and find this one, the texture target, and just change this to be the clipping render target. Then in order to make it so our weapon will basically appear on the render target, we just want to select it, then in the search look for render, and we just want to click this, visible in scene capture only. This will make it disappear. We then want to go over to our construction script, drag in our scene capture component, drag off here and look for show only component, Connect from the construction script into here. The construction script will basically run before our game has even loaded. And what we're going to do is just drag in our weapon and connect this into here. Just to make it so we can see our weapon in the scene capture component 2D. We then just want to go over to our event graph. And I'm just going to right click and for event begin play. So as soon as our game starts, it'll fire this. Then what I'm going to do is just drag up here and for create widget. The widget I want to create is going to be the player HUD. And then I just want to drag up here and look for add to viewport. 
and then this will add this widget to my screen. Now if I go compile and I go play, if say I go up to this wall, we can see my weapon's not clipping through it. And I was noticing my weapon did look kind of darker, and that's because the weapon's not being affected by light. If you want to change your weapon to make it look lighter or darker, just go to the clipping material, open it up, and we just want to drag off the RGB and look for multiply. And if I multiply this by any number higher than one, then it's going to make it look lighter. And if I multiply this by any number less than one, then it'll make it look darker. So if I multiply this by three, then connect this into final color, then go apply. When I play my game, my weapon will look a lot lighter. So that's how to fix weapon clipping in Unreal Engine. If you want to learn even more about Unreal Engine, check out my free Unreal Engine Begin course. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.